Hey everyone, quick video today. I'm going to show you a bargain buy that I found on the game a while back. This is Josep Stanisic from Bayern Munich. He's down as a right back, defensive fullback. He costs only 7,000 GP. Now, when you look at him here, he starts at 68. So his stats, as you would expect, are pretty terrible. You max him out with auto allocation. He's okay. You know, his defensive stats are all right. He's got some good speed. He's a bit lacking in other areas, especially down the left. He's terrible on the ball. But what I want to show you is that you can actually train him to play at centre-back. So you look now, he's got centre-back as a position. And you look at his stats now, the way I've trained him. I've given him one play style. I've given him long ball county. See down here, that cost about four points. And the build I've put on him, down this middle column is where you start. Those four defensive stats, he might not be a, a, a really elite level like you know the epic players and players like the recent featured Ruben Diaz and so on but he's still at a good level these defensive stats they're strong you look over to the right 80 per speed is good for a centre back he's not the most mobile or manoeuvrable but he's a centre back and that's kind of what you expect he's in the 60s for acceleration and balance but again 80 for speed is good and then 80 for stamina is also good for a centre back physical strength at 80 is okay Jumping 77 is not the best. He's six foot one and a half, which is a decent height. He's got 81 for heading. So on the whole, he's kind of, he's physically okay. He's all right in the air, but he's also got aerial superiority as a skill. So that does make up for the jumping being 77. Down the left, again, he's a center back. You can't expect much on these stats. He is a bit lacking, but for a 7K bargain buy, you can't ask for too much from him. But if we go down to a skill set here, like I say, He's got aerial superiority, which does make him a bit more competent in the air. These last four skills here, including the area one, we've got interception and blocker. I would say the two most important skills for a centre-back to have. Just means that theoretically he's going to get in the way of everything. And then acrobatic clearance just adds to that. Just means he's even more likely to get in the way of things. And at the top, obviously long throw, not so important, but one touch pass. This is a nice little bonus skill to have. It does help to compensate for his poor passing and just means he's a little bit less likely to give the ball away when you're in defensive areas passing the ball around. So he is, for 7,000 GP, a really strong centre-back. I've got him myself. I've used him quite a bit he's, when he's had form recently. He's never been found out for me. He's been really solid, but not only has he been good for me at centre-back, you can see he's also got right-back and left-back as positions and he's defensive full-back. So... When you're in positions, situations where, especially in the second half when you're defending, if your opponent's got a wide forward, like an Mbappe or a Sadio Mane, and they're trying to get those through balls in between your fullback and your centre-back and get, get that wide forward in behind your defence, this guy's really effective. I've brought him off the bench a bunch of times in those situations, right and left. He's right-footed, but his left foot's very strong. Very good defensive stats, especially the awareness, very important. And he's got good speed as well. He can be a really effective substitute coming on right across the defence. So, a very effective player. For 7,000 GP, I think I can't go wrong. Uh, we do have an update coming in a matter of days now, so we don't know if Konami are going to change him. Maybe they'll improve him. They could change the balance of his stats, his skill set, his positions he can play. So, if you like the look of him, I would say pick him up now. It's only 7,000 GP. He's always been really effective for me. Um, so there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. I've got a few more bargain buys I'll do videos about in the near future. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Have a great Easter weekend, and I'll see you next time.